This video presents the geology in the Surat Cumulative Management Area. This 3D geological information is built by the Office of Groundwater Impact Assessment for its groundwater impact assessment from coal seam gas development in the area. The Surat Cumulative Management Area contains a number of geological formations layered on top of each other. The Bowen Basin is the deepest, reaching more than 9 kilometres below the surface at centre and runs north-south. The Surat Basin sits on top of the Bowen Basin. The different geological formations that comprise the Surat Basin are shown in different colours here from bottom to top and are listed in the legend to the left. The Surat Basin is 2.5 kilometres deep and spreads wider than the Bowen. The Surat Basin is a mix of alternating layers of sandstone, siltstone, mudstone and coal. As we move south to the north, the formations vary in depth and thickness. One of those formations, the Walloon Coal Measures, is the target formation for coal seam gas production in the Surat Basin. Now you can see a north-south cross-section of the Surat and Bowen Basins. In the south, the Surat Basin overlies the Bowen Basin, whilst to the north, the younger sediments of the Surat Basin thin and disappear. The older and deeper sediments eventually reach the surface until only the formations of the Bowen Basin are exposed. At the southeastern end, the Condamine alluvium is about 120 metres thick in the central floodplain near Dolby and sits on top of the Surat Basin and its equivalent, the Clarence Morton Basin. In the east, the Walloon Coal Measures lies directly underneath it. Next to this is the basalt layer of the main range volcanics. There are a number of regional geological faults in the Surat CMA. Mainly deep-seated basement faults primarily affect the Bowen sediments and in some circumstances also affect the Surat Basin. Displacement along the faults is much less in the Surat Basin compared to the Bowen Basin. All this knowledge about the complex geology was gathered in the generation of a 3D geological model primarily built from interpretation of wells and bores that are drilled for exploration and production. A technique called geophysical logging is used to interpret the depths of various sandstone, mudstone and coal layers. The Office of Groundwater Impact Assessment has primarily used logs from over 7,000 petroleum and gas wells and 25,000 water bores to build the formation layering. Geological mapping and seismic surveys are also key data sets used for geological modelling. The resulting model forms the framework for impact assessment.